Hi guys! So today I'm going to try out this <laughs> wool winder I just picked up on Amazon. Generally I would call it yarn winder, but um, you know, whatever country this is made in, that's what they went with, wool winder. Okay, so I picked this up because I recently picked up an Addy and Centro type of knitting machine, the circular knitting machines, and a long time ago on my old channel I had a review of like a, more of a kid's knitting machine that works really well, it just makes a very small project and um, you know, had like a half a million views and I just didn't bring it to this channel. Actually, I think I did. But then I took it down because YouTube has some weird things for like, oh, this is for kids and, you know, not. So I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. I'll just stick to, you know, grown-up stuff. So, um, it's not on here anymore, anymore, but I am interested in still working those kind of projects. But this is one thing I picked up to help me go along with that, just in case. Um, whatever skein of yarn I have isn't really working for me. It might be better if it's coming off of a round spool, something like that. Um, so I'll link in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchased items to those links. So thanks for using those if you can or if you like. You know, I just found like the least expensive thing. I remember seeing this, like, um, I love knitting and crocheting. Knitting, really, I would go to like local yarn shops and still like to do that kind of thing. And these things are so expensive at those kind of places. So I'm like, mmm. But again, you know, it might be a better product than this particular one. One, right? I don't know. Uh, but this was less than 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly how much it was right now, but it was <laughs> a steal in my opinion. So we're going to try it out today. I have this scrubby um, yarn. For whatever reason in my mind, I thought, you know what? Maybe you can make like a little scrubby on one of those knitting machines, and I'm sure it's going to be a real pain <laughs> because of all these little things it has, but they're not that long. Either way, I'm going to try, I'm going to give it a go. But for now, and what's funny is that this was on clearance at Joanne, but I got this at uh, Walmart and at Joanne's they're like on clearance for like two bucks and at Walmart it was still $4.97 so I was like ah but I just grabbed it anyway just so I can make this video and try this out so here it is basically it's to make you know scrubbies <laughs> for your dishes and things um great for dish cloths it says so I'm going to re-roll this and uh using this guy there's a little pattern on here so that's nice uh but this is really kind of coming apart from the outside anyway so I figured I'll just start from out there instead of digging it around and getting the center piece pulled out. Um, but it does say, yarn ball winder hands operate plastic needles, I don't know, one piece. Okay, I thought I already opened this, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> let's do it again. All right. So let's open this guy up. Oh, oh, look at this. It's deluxe, you guys. It comes with extra stuff. You got some little snips. That's cool. Um, and then it has yarn needles. That's great. I mean, why not? <laughs> and then um, stitch markers. I mean, that's pretty cool. I did not expect those extras. At least I don't remember seeing them. I was just paying attention more to pricing and then, you know, what we have here. So, uh, generally, you stick this to something, I was going to say, to the table or something like that. So, let me see what that's about as far as getting that going, of course. Um, yeah, loosen and fasten right here. Interesting. I don't know that I'm going to stick this to the table because I might not be able to show you guys. But I just want to see about how far this will open for you to be able to do that. Um, I mean, it's still going. That's very interesting. You would think this is going to stop at some point. <laughs> well, obviously it's going to stop at some point, but like come out of my hand. I hope not. Um, that's about an inch opening that you can stick it to some kind of table or surface. It's not coming apart up here so much as it's just letting this come out more and more. Yeah, I would say I think that's it. I don't know. It feels like it's turning, but it's not moving open much more. It probably gives you an inch and a half of grippy area or clippy. I'm going to roll this back up, guys. I'll be right back. I don't think it goes all the way back in. It looks like it always has like a quarter inch gap. So there it is. And we're just going to read about this. You have the knob, of course, for the clamp. You know, because obviously you want to clamp it to something, right? So you can just turn. Um, usually, you know, at a yarn shop, you'll just see that they have this like at the end of their table somewhere, however. And, you know, sometimes um, you can just use the one they have there if you don't want to just purchase it, uh, depending on your skeins of yarn that you want to get wound a certain way. And, I mean, pretty cool. Device for winding yarn into a coreless ball, typically from a skein form. Um, skein is like this shape, right? And this one's going to make a ball or a cake, if you will, because that's basically what it's doing. Set spindle into geared base by aligning notches while holding gear base. Turn spindle clockwise to secure. So, obviously, we're going to get this guy. It's telling you loosen, fasten, right? So, obviously, we have like these little notched areas where this needs to go in. And that's kind of cool because you can definitely um, take this apart, right, if you need to. So fasten this way, loosen this way if you need to take this down and take it somewhere else or put it away. I don't know. But that's cool because hopefully it doesn't loosen up while you're working with it. But I doubt it. It shouldn't. 
clamp the ball winder to the table or the support, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm just going to have it right here in front for you guys. Uh, clamp will work on a thickness up to 1.4 inches. You see that? And I said it's about one and a half. Huh, I was close. <laughs> just by eyeballing that. But the info was already here. <laughs> clamp is controlled by turning the red knob, of course. Rotate yarn guide so loop end faces upward. Pull it out as far as it will go, locking it into working position as shown. Very interesting. Ooh, that's cool. Um, so loop end faces upward. Let's see what that means. What does that even mean? Loop end. Uh, I'm assuming they're talking about this thing. Yeah. Oh, check that out. So just by pulling this out, it stops it. But if it's in, you can do that. So I guess it needs to be as far out as it can. I don't think it's locked into place, but it feels more secure. Hope that makes sense. Um, so we have that. And I want to make sure that's so loop end faces upward. Pull it out as far as it will go, locking it into working position as shown. Yarn to be wound should be supported on a swift to on a swift to allow uniform transfer. I don't know what a swift is. Feed end of yarn through yarn guide and secure a notch on top of spindle. So I'm just going to leave it here because I have no idea what they're talking about. And I guess you can kind of go around and around or you can push this through the little hole. You know, how it has that loop. Um, if you start it down here, you can just kind of loop it around. But I'm just pushing it in here. And I'm assuming we're just locking it in here. Why not? <laughs> right? Uh, let's see. I haven't done this in a long time, guys. <laughs> We're going to secure a notch. Uh, t yeah. Through yarn guide and secure a notch on top of spindle, yarn is easily placed through guide by simply wrapping it in a clockwise direction, which is basically what I was telling you. You can just kind of follow the paper clippy of it, you know, and it'll go in there by just push it in. Uh, around to, around the end coil. Turn handle clockwise, forming the ball, the yarn into a ball. Finished ball can be withdrawn from winder by simply pulling off from underside of ball. So again, I'm not locking this onto anything because I, I'm just not. So I'm gonna hold it here. Oh my goodness, that is so fun! I love this. I remember when the ladies would do this for me at the yarn shops. They just like crank, 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 crank. They would do it so fast. But look at that. Okay, so obviously my ball of yarn is doing whatever. But maybe with swift, they mean like a basket or a bowl or something. It's not too bad. But I'm just going to keep going. Obviously, this is not how it would be if it was clamped to your table. It's just clamped to the table, right? Obviously, you want to keep your hands out of the way if you're holding it like I am because you don't want anything <laughs> being obstructed or smashed here. So I'm just going to keep going until it's done. And I will be right back. I did attach it to my table, and I'm at the very end here. Of course, the center part started getting a little funny because, you know, this guy at the end is kind of holding on to stuff, but okay. And I mean, that's it. So let me release it from my table so I can show you. The little cake that we just made, it is so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, that was maybe a minute, probably less. Um, you know, it could have been taller, I suppose. It depends on the yarn you're using, and I'm sure it can keep going up until it starts kind of rubbing out here. So, I mean, your little yarn ball, 50 grams, no problem, you know, you know, I, I don't know, like this was 85 grams. I would say if you're looking maybe 150, it just, it's going to start rubbing, right? So, and then doing some wonky stuff. So I would say, you know, smallish to medium size skeins will probably be great on this. And then it says to remove it, just to remove it from the bottom. So from the base. So let's see. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, I love it. I love it, how adorable. And then, of course, that center one, you can just pull it up if you want to use it from there or have it unwind from here and put in your little yarn bowl and look really lovely. Um, again, I start from the outside. Obviously, if you pull it out from the center, it might not be moving around as much as my yarn ball is moving around. But how cute is that? I mean, it's perfect. It feels nice and taut. Like, it's not loose. Like, I mean, look, it's not falling apart or anything. Really, really nice. So, yeah, I'm happy to have this, and I'll try to put my videos out in a timely manner. I'm trying to finish up some <laughs> leg warmers that I knit by hand, and I'm finishing the second one, which is always the problem, right? When there's a pair of something, it's like, ah, I gotta do the second one. But I love it. It's just I haven't had time to sit there like I did the first one. So I'm almost there. That video will come out, and then I think I'll do the um, Addy and Centro type video or maybe the other opposite. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I really want to get to playing with those machines. So thanks for watching guys. Um, yeah, this isn't something I typically do on my channel very often, uh, but I do love fiber arts and, you know, needlework kind of things. So uh, this is just the stuff I usually enjoy in my spare time. But um, 
thanks for watching. I'm super happy to have this. It's real smooth, really nice. Definitely attached to your table just so you know you can obviously get it going. And um, this thing stays put while you're working with it when it is attached to the table. When I had it in my hand still, it was kind of wanting to you know move. But once it's always on the table, no problem. So, all right, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.